Mexico City, the biggest city in the world, a metropolis of 750 square kilometers and home to nearly one-fifth of Mexico's population. Of all the difficult economic and social issues facing this sprawling complex of over 22 million people, the search for water has become their greatest challenge. Some even say that Mexico City is actually collapsing. This is unbelievable. As you can see, this is the angel of the independence. And about 10 years ago, you can see that it was on, uh, on the level of the street. But uh, now, as you can see, Mexico is sinking. The historic city center has sunk 10 meters over the past 100 years. Its grand cathedral, the largest and oldest in Latin America, is supported by a steel corset while engineers battle to shore up its foundations. Buildings are slowly collapsing, streets rising and buckling, rail beds twisting, tracks bending, and all of it connected to a water crisis that did not exist when the city came to life centuries ago. In 1325, the wandering Mexico tribe known to us as Aztecs founded a great lagoon city. According to legend, signs from a god directed them to establish their capital on thousands of hectares of marshlands in Lake Texcoco. Here they constructed a giant web of exotic floating gardens. These small floating gardens of Oxymilco are all that remained of the great Aztec vision in today's Mexico City. The festive mood in this public park belies the destructive handling of a mega city's resources and its unprecedented water crisis. Today, Mexico City depends on groundwater for 80% of its supply. Most of that water comes from the Mexico Valley Aquifer. But the aquifer is not being recharged because of inadequate drainage and an ever-expanding layer of asphalt and concrete. The depletion of the aquifer has caused a shifting and settling of the land. And the evidence is everywhere. Crumbling roadways. Cracked and burst pipes. Precious water wasted. What sort of future faces a child growing up in what may be the world's thirstiest city? A place where for millions of poor families, finding a clean glass of water has become a hollow dream. We only get water once a week, and if it comes, it is very little. Sometimes it is clean water, sometimes dirty. It isn't drinkable water. For that, we have to buy bottled water. And bottled water is costly, but not all residents of Mexico City suffer from lack of water. The elite can afford water in abundance, for every domestic need, for gardens, for daily car washing, for recreation, and more. In fact, a mere 9% of the people in Mexico City use 75% of the city's total water supply. In view of such inequities, Mexico City's search for water must be a broad-based effort, beginning with a dramatic change in attitude. Lessons from ancient peoples can be effective tools in shifting attitudes. <laughs>